fixing a crooked spine means working within millimeters of the spinal cord and risks total paralysis, even death. Only a handful of surgeons have the skill and courage to even attempt such a brutal operation. This man is the master of it. Dr. Ohenaba Boachi was born in Ghana. As a young boy, he almost died of malnutrition, but was saved by a Western-trained doctor. He took care of me, and that never left me. So I always wanted to be like him, someone who can heal someone and provide them with health and, and uh, strength and give them a new lease on life. Dr. Boachi now lives in New York and saves hundreds of children each year from lives of terrible suffering and death. He made the human spine his life's work and has revolutionized spinal surgery. This is a very special edition and we're coming to you from the Focus Hospital and um, I am in the presence of greatness, man. This man is so busy, I think the only thing I want to find out from him is does he sleep, but I'll get to that. He arrived, he got, he, he touched down at 1 p.m., he left straight from there and parked from the airport straight to the hospital. Got to the hospital by 3 p.m. He went straight into seeing his patients, meeting with volunteers and he was in the hospital until 8 p.m. when he went back to meet some more volunteers. The man went to bed, it was around 2 a.m. 6 a.m. crane, the man was here. Show some love for the greatest. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank Doctor, you. Doctor, welcome, man. Thank you. For and, and really, thank you for giving me time to chat with you. By the way, let me tell you, well, we had to wait a bit because when we came, he was in surgery. He's doing three surgeries today. He's finished with one, and in between that, before he goes for the other two, he came back to spend a little bit of time with us. So, Doctor, once again, thank you very much. Thanks, my pleasure. D do you yeah. rest, Doctor? Uh, when I, do you I rest? rest. I can rest anywhere. Oh, you can uh, rest anywhere? Okay, I can rest anywhere. If you shut all the doors and turn off the lights and give me 10 minutes, I'll go to sleep right now. <laughs> 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 I can rest anywhere. I, I can sleep anywhere. I so that's how you rest, a little power laps here and there? Yeah, parts. And then also if I get long, like on a flight, I mean, I, I slept for like five hours. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I went to bed at 2 o'clock yesterday, mm -hmm. this morning actually, and got up at 5.30. But for my routine has been three, four, five hours. Wow. Yeah. And wow. then cat naps in between. Wow. Yeah. And, 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 well, now, you yeah. know, you are the one of the, the best, if not the best, spinal surgeon in the world. Um, how did you get there? I hear at, eight, at the age of eight you had some... Yes, yes. Well, this is a long story, but yeah. I was very young when I was sick, and uh, I, my grandmother was the one who was taking care of me, took me to several fetish doctors. You know, mm. that was, this was in the 50s, where they didn't have you know, specialist doctors. But after a couple of years of the illness, uh, you, you probably have heard of Dr. Mensa, Subin Valley. Mm. Maybe, maybe too young. But he, had, he was a pediatrician who had come back from his training in England mm. and opened mm. a pediatric clinic in Kumasi. So mm. we all flocked to his clinic. And I, was be, I became one of his patients. Okay. So after being with him for two years, I got well, and uh, he actually uh, became my role model. Oh, so, so you stayed with for two years? Did yeah, what yeah. was the problem? Well, it was gastrointestinal illnesses, infectious disease, uh, I was losing weight, and, and I don't know to date what, uh, what was wrong with me, but I was very sick and I almost didn't make it. Hmm. So um, after being with him for a couple of years, I missed uh, second and third grade, actually. Wow. So he became a role model, and uh, I always remember you know, all the kids who were not lucky enough to mm. see him mm. who didn't mm. make it. So growing up, I wanted to be uh, a physician, just like him. Really? And so you inspired from as far back as then? Yes, I was, By him. I was seven. Wow, at yeah, seven? Yeah, right. Somewhere along the line, I wanted to become an engineer. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. I realized, why well, I shouldn't forget my first love. So after I finished high school, I went to the U.S. Uh, with the uh, objective to, uh, with the goal to uh, become a physician. Mm, mm, so, mm. but if you ask me how I've been able to achieve all of this, it's hard work, hard work and dedication and commitment. 
and, 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 and you grew up with a pretty poor background, right? Yeah. Brought well, up by a single mother? Single mother. Uh, several other brothers and sisters along the way. I was the oldest one. My mom uh, was a, uh, was a you know, petty trader in the market. I, I did a lot of marketing myself. Really? What were you selling? <laughs> we were selling uh, smoked meat. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, so even though when I was in high school, I still couldn't get all my school fees paid because mm -hmm. she was the one that was paying my school fees. Mm -hmm. my, my father at that time was in the village. You know, he had uh, retreated to the village. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, and he was Nana Hiyahine. Nana Hiyahine. Nana Hiyahine mm -hmm. But he had left the throne uh, when I was only two. Mm -hmm. And I don't think he saved enough money. Mm -hmm. So, and of course, he had all those children he had to mm -hmm. take care of. Mm -hmm. So who were the unlucky ones? But ah, my yeah. mom did very well. How many, how many children were there? How many siblings do you have? My, I have five brothers five. and two sisters. Okay. And you're, uh, they're, all, they're all around? Yeah, they're all, I have uh, there are two brothers in the United States. Okay. Uh, one brother in Germany, two sisters in Germany, and then one brother here. Mm, mm, yeah. mm. And um, you're, you're the first? Yes. I see. Yes. I see. I see. So. Think us through growing up, going through high school days, Fukuwari, I hear. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was at Prempe. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. you're on the other side. On the other side. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So uh, I went to St. Joseph uh, uh, Primary School. Mm. And so after my illness, and interestingly, once I got well, I, was, I never became sick. And up to today, I mean, I'm 60 years old and I've never been to a hospital. Really? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I to <laughs> yeah. So uh, I think I was healed miraculously. And my grandmother, I remember telling me that we were at a village called Tabuom. Mm -hmm. uh, there was a fetish uh, medicine doctor there who was actually taking care of kids. So we were there for about five, five months and I was still not doing well. And one day she said we should leave the town. So I said, why should we leave the town? But she was a very strong Christian. And she said, I told her that I had a vision that I was healed and that we should leave. You told her? Yeah. That you were healed? Yeah. So you should leave? Yeah. And so she left? So she said, well, then let's go. So we left, came back to Kumasi, and, that, and that's how we found Dr. Mensa. Wow. Yeah. Do you remember having the oh, vision? Yeah. Well, I, I don't remember, but she said I told her vividly that I had seen the light coming down from the, the heavens and... You know, someone putting his hand on me and say, you're healed, get up and leave. And since then, you've never been sick? And I've never been sick. Show some love, man. <laughs> yeah, of course, you know, I get, I get a common cold, you know, yeah. that everybody gets. But to be in a hospital, be hospitalized with either hypertension or diabetes, of Nothing course, like I that. do my annual mm -hmm, checkup. Mm -hmm. right? now I've been very lucky, you know, so I've been able to uh, really work and uh, use, uh, make use of all the time that I have. And I also have a very supportive family. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've been married to my wife for 40 years now. 40 years yeah. now? I was 21, she was 16 when we met. Wow. And yeah, we have three grown children, 33, 30, 29, uh, 33, 35, 30, and 29. Wow. She'll be uh, laughing <laughs> at me. <laughs> Any, yeah. any of them? Any of them flowing after your well, steps? Well, one is in surgery with me right one now. One is in surgery right mm -hmm. now? Mm -hmm. yes. He's a surgical technologist. Ah. Yeah. Uh. And then the one, uh, uh, be, uh, you know, after before him, uh, is an orthopedic surgeon, mm. also, mm. and then the oldest is a surgical uh, research mm. Uh, mm. Uh, th th uh, oncologist. Fantastic, yeah. fantastic. So they're and all around. Yeah, and 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 right now we are an internationally acclaimed spinal surgeon. Mm. I don't think anybody does it better than you do. Well, and and <laughs> and you've done some amazing things all yeah. the world over. Uh -huh. uh, we're going to take a short commercial break. When we come back, sure. I want to find out about how you develop this master okay. hands yeah. for crafting the spine. Second round, we'll be right back. <laughs>
Chama ele, ho! 